Thank you for taking time to watch this video on the mass registration drive for ECD programs. The government wants every young child in South Africa to have access to a quality ECD program which provides three things. A safe and nurturing environment, quality learning and development opportunities, and good nutrition. Registration is the first step in making this possible. There are various changes in the new registration system. Because the law requires all ECD programs to be registered, it is important that you understand the new process and how to engage with it. What is the mass registration drive? Over the next year, the Department of Basic Education will be supporting many more ECD programs to get registered as quickly as possible. The aim is to include every ECD program in the regulatory system and to support them to comply with legal requirements. Education districts will lead and coordinate local implementation of the new registration system. Who is the mass registration drive for? The mass registration drive is aimed at all types of ECD programs. These include ECD centers, sometimes called partial care, and day mothers, playgroups, and toy libraries. The mass registration drive is for unregistered ECD programs. If a program is already registered or conditionally registered, it does not need to do anything at the moment. How will the mass registration drive be rolled out? The rollout of the mass registration drive will happen in phases and plan closely with provinces. The DBE website will be updated to show when the mass registration drive is coming to different areas, so keep checking it. ECD programs should not complete an online application before the mass registration drive is live in their area. How is the new system different? The new system is more straightforward and inclusive than the old one. This is because the requirements are clearer and more realistic, recognizing the very different contexts in which ECD programs operate. The application process is online using a new program called eCares. There are different kinds of support available through a contact center, a WhatsApp bot, and local partners. How does an ECD program get started? An ECD program uses the provided link to fill in the online application form and the health and safety assessment. They then upload copies of staff IDs and a Form 30 for every staff member so they can be checked against the National Child Protection Register. The Education District will then review the documents and do the National Child Protection Register checks and approve or reject the application. It's that simple. ECD programs will receive a message on the outcome of their application. And successful programs will be given information on the silver and gold stages. It's important to note that the bronze certificate is valid for one year only. In this time, every ECD program must complete the remaining stages of registration. This means they will submit other documents, take steps to make sure their program complies with norms and standards, receive site visits by the education districts and environmental health officials. More information and support will be provided for each of these steps. What support is available? ECD programs will be able to access support in different ways. There will be a dedicated contact center to help with applications. Local partners, like NGOs and ECD forums, will be given training and tools to support ECD programs. Helpful materials will be made freely available on the DBE website. For the latest information on the mass registration drive, please refer to the link for more information. You are also welcome to send us a WhatsApp message by typing hi to 087-725-2059. Thank you for partnering with the government to make sure that every South African child has access to a quality ECD program.